With the Chiefs fresh off their AFC win and the Super Bowl now less than two weeks away, let's see how well we know information about the big game. I'm not sure how this is going to go, Hemi, but let's see the first one. I'm, I'm hoping it's information about the halftime shows. That the would be game. great. I might know those yes. more. Okay, which team won the first Super Bowl? The Philadelphia Eagles, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Green Bay Packers, or the Denver Broncos? The first Super Bowl? I don't even know what year that was. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I'm Let's like, say, I don't think it was the Chiefs. I no, I don't think so either. If it was the Chiefs, so we would have known that, right? I feel like maybe the Eagles. That's my guess. Okay, I'll guess Packers. Okay, what's the answer? Oh, hey! look at you go. How okay. the family in Wisconsin pays off, I guess. Interesting. I would love to know what year what year the first Super Bowl was because I have, just have absolutely no idea. Well, I hope it's a question of what year the Chiefs were established because I know that because I just ordered a sweatshirt that says established 1960 <laughs> on it. So hopefully the switch, sweatshirt's accurate. Okay, the next one. Who okay. holds the record for the most Super Bowl MVP awards? Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Bart Starr, or uh, Peyton Manning? It's got to be Brady, right? Oh, I was like, um, sure, yeah. Well, this is another one that my husband was just telling me all these stats about quarterbacks and who had the yeah, yeah, best yeah. and the most, and it was just like Tom Brady was, his number was astronomically higher. Yeah, but what's crazy is I have to imagine that he's shaking in his boots because Mahomes is probably coming after that, oh, I yeah. would assume. Like you know? he, now I think after this last game, Mahomes is like number four on the list that my husband was telling me about. Sure. So it's like, he's getting there. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Out. All right, okay. next one. The most expensive Super Bowl ad ever was for what item? Oh, gosh. I mean, Pepsi always, oh, Tide, Pepsi, Old Spice, um, Amazon Echo. Amazon Echo. Yeah. Pepsi just has so many commercials over the years. Oh, isn't that the big, that's like the big sponsor? That used to be the big thing, remember? Yeah, like, like you would get the Super Bowl. Like, let's say Pepsi. Yeah. Is it Pepsi? I don't even, what does that say? Okay. Um, $26 million for a 132nd commercial with Scarlett Johansson and oh. Colin Joseph for the Amazon Echo. Oh, I don't even think I've seen that commercial. I remember that honest. one, and I don't, I don't I, it didn't it. stand out to me more than any other Super Bowl commercial, so Hot I'm surprised take. that. Uh... Yeah, I do love the commercials in the Super Bowl, though. That's always fun to see. Yeah. Some years are disappointing, but hopefully this year will be good. I'm totally a person that watches yeah. for that. That's very fun to see. Okay, next one. Oh, Super friends, Bowl. I do not know the Roman numerals. Yeah, XLID, um, that's what we'll say. <laughs> beat out what shows series you. finale to become the most watched television program <laughs> in history. Seinfeld, Friends, MASH, or the Golden Girls. Seinfeld's finale was a huge thing. But then yeah. Friends went on later and became even bigger. I'm gonna guess Friends, Okay, but I don't friends. know. Oh. Never there we go. We that. had a question about MASH last week, too. I just don't know anything about that show, I guess. Never so. would have. No. I I've never know. seen it. I don't really know much about I've it. I've seen a few reruns here and there, but not not enough. Not enough. No. Yeah. Clearly, we didn't know much. Okay, let's see the next one. How <laughs> much do Americans spend on beer for Super Bowl Sunday? $7.9 billion, $1.3 billion, $960,000, or I don't know what the last one says, but $50.6 million? Okay. Oh, I... Shown. It's got to be high. It's got to be in the billions, right? Because that's... It's definitely A or B, I would have to imagine. Maybe let's I'm aiming go, too high. Let's go A. Okay, I'm down. Is it B? Ah, ah look at that. 1.3 billion. I want to say it's shocking, so but it's not. I mean, no. that's just kind of associated with football. Yeah. Watching football parties, especially for the Super Yes, because people that don't even normally drink beer are probably yeah. buying beer on, on that side. And most, even if you watch most games alone, maybe you're getting out for the Super Bowl. Yeah, well. or so. yeah, parties. Yeah, yes. I totally agree. All right. What was the only Super Bowl to go overtime? Oh. Was it <laughs> more Roman numerals? Was it A, the Patriots <laughs> versus the Falcons? Was it B, the Rams versus the Titans? C, Packers versus Patriots, or D, Giants versus Bills. Oh. Oh man, I have no idea. What was the only Super Bowl to go to overtime? Was it, was it the, the Packers versus the Patriots? Like, I don't know anything about these teams. No, me I, I was gonna say Packers, Patriots too. So I don't I'm know, it just feels like two big teams to me. Oh, no. the Patriots versus, versus the, the Falcons. Falcons. Okay, so well, we, we were Patriots. wrong. Patriots, yeah. we were close. What are you most excited for with the Super Bowl? I mean, I'm just excited that the Chiefs are back yeah. in it. Like, it makes it, it makes it a lot more fun when you care about the team, at least for me, because I'm yeah. not a big football fan. Yes, and I'm excited to see Usher's halftime show. I think and it's going to be really hopefully awesome. Hopefully Taylor will be there. Maybe she'll make an appearance. Maybe. I guess we'll see.